hook being pushed. I must have made it watch the other day. It's a 760 um, carry all the way from Free State to 200. Of course, Drex is on the back. That thing must chuck because we know how, who's the daddy rips with uh, two 150s or 140s on the back. I think 140s. So 150s would have been great. But no. They put two 200s. I was here with Bardet the morning them, uh, with the maiden voyage. Um, I didn't expect any boats to launch except the uh, whale watchers here at the estuary mouth, but everybody moved down to Mapelon Bay again. So sorry guys, I missed your maiden voyage. Beautiful this, yeah. The seat and the deck layout and that th thing is incredible, the colouring. Pretty sure he's honest, the skipper. Could be Theo himself, I'm not sure. Either way, things is done right. They're coming slowly up the channel. The channel is dear my car, it's a washing machine. It's lying nicely in the water with the two big motors on the back. even pushing the nose down. I thought it's going to be a, a lot more nose light with those heavy motors on the back. Pushing hard against the bricks there. But a beautiful exit. Happy hunting. Enjoy the day. It's a push for Advantage Charter 1, the 9 meter Bencat. Floating nicely there in the gully, two 250 V6 four-stroke Suzuki's on the back. Early this morning there was a lot of dolphin and whale activities here in front and on the horizon. I don't know what they're going to see today. Sean Mansfield running the big vessel nicely up the channel. The broad vessel rides like if it's got shock absorbers in it. I thought it was going to be bumpy, but what a comfortable vessel it is. Nicely in front of the, the bricks. One or two speed bumps to get over. Well done, Sean. Happy well watching, enjoy the trip. Next one about to be pushed is Free Spirit 2, also one of the two legal boats to watch do well watching here in St. Lucia. And that's a push. Boat floating nicely. Tracker got in time out of the shore break. 830 butt gate. Also a very comfortable boat to go with to the ocean with, two 204 stroke Suzuki's on the back, a nimble, nimble vessel, it can hit, take the, the waves like a deep V, and it got the right comfort of a cat, immaculate. I thought it was special built, I was always told it's special built, but no, that is a normal butt cat. They sell them regularly through the dealership. The hulls are freely available brand new and you can get your own deck configuration that you would like. Happy well watching, enjoy the trip. Go to the motors first because that's where the, the main thing is. We still got all our traditional motors, the mechanicals, hydraulics. You can still get the full Yamaha range in the in the older technology. Okay, so normal hydraulics and or cable steering for the smaller motors. Right? But the newer the newer models and the bigger models, we've got what we call digital integrated steering. So in this particular, this is the big 450. It's got a complete electric drive inside. So it's got a, a worm drive. So the fly by wire, basically, what it does is it's got a, 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 a rod that goes like that. And as you give it an input signal, it drives the motor, steers the 450, the 350, and the 300 are all um, integrated electric speed. 
And the 200 fly by wire basically in that technology. So it sends the signal to the motor and the motor reacts based on... But there's no hydraulics between the motor? Nothing. Nothing not, on is these, not on these. Okay. On the older generation you can still get hydraulics and, and whatever you need. But these four motors that are here, it's a signal from throttle, from your helm, from your complete helm system, which we'll get to just now. Okay? But the difference between the 300, 350 and the 450 is these are full electric steering. The 200 has got an hydraulic pump. Um, on the on the unit itself, still gets an electric signal, but what it does, the pump um, actuates. It. So it, it basically reacts um, to inputs from the from the um, helm. Okay. So it's a hydraulic pump inside, hydraulic cylinder here steering the motor um, from the helm via a an electric signal. Okay. So they all fly by wires, but two different systems. This one being hydraulic. Um, actuated and those being fully electric, no hydraulic pump, just a, a drive like that. Okay. So that's the difference between them. The, the 350, this is the first time we display the 350 um, uh, in the open um, market. It's just launched, the, the previous 350 was a V8 and this is a V6, 4.3 litre, much li actually lightest in its class <clears throat> and obviously um, this is now the one that we predicts going to be fitted to a lot of the bigger boats. So your 30 foots and your, your citations and your, your big bike pairs, your big um, magnums and so on and so forth. The, the big boat at the Sotwana, Godzilla or something? No, that's Legend. No, there's two there. But the Legend um, has got two 450s on. It's, uh, it used to have four two fives and we've just fitted two 450s. And then we've got... Um, Gary Prentice and Ryan Williamson's boat, we did a triple installation of three V6 um, 300s on. So that, that's that mono hall um, citation. Yes, but it's not, it's not yeah. these ones, is that? That's 300s. Three, three this, this one, not no, the blue that, one. That one. Yeah. This one, yeah. not the old technology. No. This one, yeah, this is that one. Got a dual, uh, dual station and triple installation. That's that one. Christian has got a. a, a 30 foot magnum or 32 foot magnum with two um, V8 450s. Talking about a system called Helmaster. Okay. So if you look at Helmaster, Helmaster is is comes in four stages. Okay. So the first two stages is drive by wire is steering and fly by wire throttle. Those are stage one and two. They come standard in the in the electric integrated um, motors. Okay. So that's stage one and two. Stage three, our master is autopilot. Okay, so that's basically everybody knows autopilot, but it's a Yamaha auto autopilot system. No, on the autopilot, it's a, it has a very good example. Now, this is the, these are those new Garmin um, um, uh, leaf shading maps. Okay, so let me say I get to this area and I want to work that area because I can see something there. Okay, so what I can do is I get to that area and I, I choose pattern steer, and it'll tell me how would you like to pattern steer. You want to do it in an S or you want to do it in a you know, exactly. Um, well, what, uh, what's called a Williamson um, uh, steer as well, which is a certain pattern that you go over structure. And then it'll tell me how wide do I want to go. So if I say 500 meters or kilometer, and I push the buttons, it will start to work that area until it's finished that area. It will do exactly that pattern, so up and down, up and down, up and down, till it, till it finishes that area. And then at the end of the, 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 the clip, it will be exact. It will show you exactly over that particular um, area what it did. So that's quite, that's quite also, that's a cool um, feature of the Yamaha um, autopilot that you don't have on another, on another um, That's system. stage three? This is stage three, yeah. Stage, okay. three. And stage four is your um, joystick system, which is your fishing um, technology. So this on its own is something totally different, but that's stage four for docking, fishing, and um, a very specialized application. So that I'll, I'll get to you now. So all of this hooks together to this is your control the cl5 your yamaha control system and then it can integrate with any fish finder that you want garmin furuna lawrence whatever you want okay so that that is the the basics of the of the um the controls okay on your main control this is now just a single installation but normally it's a double installation you can then you've got um, speedo cruise you can go really really fine with your um with your trawling and and, and um, um, cruise control because you, <coughs> the new Yamaha system is, is um, really well calibrated with our motors. So you can go real slow. You know, some of the older technology was difficult to, to trawl and to, 
to do game fishing um, uh, with, a, with a cruise control. Uh, we've got this on our boat, it's fantastic. Yeah. This is stage four, okay? And if you look at on, on stage four, once, if, when you're driving um, a boat, you, you've got throttle and you've got steering, okay? Those are your two main controls. When you switch to joystick, you hit the joystick button, none of the supplies now anymore. If you, if you touch it, it'll override the joystick. But once you're on joystick, this is, um, you can see it can go in all axis, okay? So, if you can think of the vessel going like this and you turn that, the vessel will turn on its axis like a shopping trolley, okay? If you want the vessel to go left, it'll go left. If you want it to go right, it'll go right. If you want it to go backwards, it'll go backwards or forwards, okay? If you want it to do both, so you want it to go forwards and sideways, you can let the, the vehicle crawl, uh, the, the vessel crawl up like that. Like that. So that's the basic with, controls. With these motors, with one prop? No, it has to have, so it has to have the double installation. At two least, motors? At least, okay, for it to work as efficiently as possible. You can fit it to there's no There's no bow thrusters or nothing in the back. Nothing. Bow. So the motors, if you can think how they fly by wire, so they're not linked to a tie bar or anything anymore. So they're independent, totally. So they can move left and right. One can be that way in reverse and the other one can be that way in forward. So if you can imagine how much um, possibilities there are to maneuver the boat with the motors able to go any direction and the throttle. So this now, this system here is controlling all of those on multi um, axes. Okay, so <clears throat> that's why you're able to achieve so much maneuverability on the, on the vessel. Okay. So that's just in manual mode, using it to do that you can you've got so much um, movement even on the biggest biggest vessels you can you can really um, get a lot of fine movement then these three buttons okay drift point and let's start with the easier one fish point so if I if I ride up to a place and I and I see as a, a bait ball or a structure that I would like to that's right I can hit the fish point button and what will happen then is the it's an anchor it's a virtual anchor so what the Vessel now we do to put the, throp, the the props in forward and reverse, and um, keep the keep the the, the the vessel at that exact point. So you can do your bait fishing, whatever. It will stay like that. Wind current, whatever. It will stay exactly like that. Putting the um, the gears, uh, the gear boxes in forward and reverse. Okay. So that's your fish point. Um, your drift point. So I can come up to a particular piece of structure, and I can, I can say yeah, maybe a good example. This is St. Lucia on the map here. So I can say to it, I want to go from that point to that point, and I hit drift point, okay? And where I am at that time, it will drift. And if I say I want to go faster or slower, I can use the, um, the up or down. So if I'm drifting too fast or too slow, I can tell it go faster or go, go slower, drifting over that point, okay? The vehicle, the vessel will stay exactly at that point. If I want to move the attitude of the of the vessel, I can just touch it or turn it, and it will touch and turn and continue on that. Um, so on it can crawl point. on that. Yes, this is amazing. Yeah. So you can. <laughs> this is what's so great about it when it comes to game fishing. When we come to marlin fishing, it's a totally. And we are specialist marlin fishermen. Um, well, my my crew, for example, we do a lot of bull fishing. What makes this thing so fantastic with, with marlin fishing is as soon as there's a fish on, you will hit the joystick button and instead in a traditional fishing with a, with, a, with, a, with a fish on, you will now on the skipper side of the vessel be looking out the window and steering and, and, and throttling depending on what the fish is doing. Now what you're doing, the fish is on, you turn around and you're watching the angler the fish, the vessel, and you're just maneuvering with your hand like this. So if I see that there comes a fish to that side, I swing the boat, and I'm keeping the fish at the correct fish position the whole time, okay? If I want to go faster, I go like this. I'm looking, I'm never ever worrying about throttles and steering and trying to get the line in a particular place. If the fish reacts fast, I just grab this and I turn it, and the boat will go immediately what I want it to do. And that makes it just so much um, more more, uh, what is the right word to use? It, it just makes it so much easier to be able to, to deal with what's going on in the boat because you've got anglers, you've got fishing rods being cleared, you've got fish jumping all over the show and you want to keep currents and wind and whatever, you want to keep the vessel not only safe but also you want you don't want the fish to get under the under the, the line and, and whatever the case may be. So that's how this um, 
particular technology has, has made its way into the into the fishing world. And I mean, our master, there are systems out there, but there's nothing like our master. Yeah. It's just is um, something really special that we brought out in, um, in the market at the moment. Thanks a lot, Thief. Pleasure. And this is what the Climax has got on. Yeah, Climax has got all of this. So, Johan said when you have a chance, we'd like to show you on Climax how it looks because obviously on Climax we've got um, uh, two motors. So, we can actually show you when we switch it on what happens to the two motors the moving left and right in and, and the system. And even Johan, who's not a big technology guy, loves to use the system. So, you can imagine. Yeah. Thank you.